Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. Solo Mel edition this morning. Um, Gary is already up and at him and out the door. He took Abraham with him to town. Um, Abe's got a, an appointment this morning, and then Gary is gonna do some running around in town, getting a few pieces of this and a few pieces of that, so uh, we can get to work again. Gonna work down there uh, for the rabbits first, and then we'll move on for the chickens. One of our big projects that we're trying to, to tackle is an automatic watering system. So we've got most of the stuff here to make it happen. Um, he does just have a couple of little pieces that we need to still get. And um, yeah, he's gonna get it and we'll put it all together and then we don't have to worry about their watering system very much. I don't know if we're gonna get to work on it today when he gets back or if we're gonna save it for um, tomorrow. I think it really just depends on the time of day that he gets back at it. Uh, but me personally, I'm not going to be working really too much. I'm going to be doing some videography and stuff on the side because I don't have to move as much for that. <sighs> so I'm still in pajamas, guys. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be putting on any kind of tight-fitting clothing for a little while. I'm going to try to keep it as loose as possible because <sighs> my body is completely under attack. I went out to the garden yesterday, guys, um, and when I came back in, I am covered, completely covered. I mean, take a look at this, guys. This is awful. I feel like I am just one big walking bump right now, and it itches and it burns, and I have no idea what it was to bite me. And I mean, I'm covered. My, it's, I'm covered. It's absolutely agonizing. One of the tough realities of uh, doing what we do, right? But Gary's gonna go to the store. He's gonna pick me up some apple cider vinegar and I'm gonna basically take like a bath in that. I've been putting that Chigarex stuff all over it too. Um, but needless to say, guys, hi, Mora. I'm going to be taking it easy as far as the work department. Um, getting, you know, sweaty and hot and stuff makes it rub and it hurts even more. So I need, I need to take a physical break until I can uh, get rid of some of this because it's just agonizing and I don't want it to make it any worse, you know. So I'm going to hang back and do a lot of the video work, uh, do a lot of the computer work and um, other things that I can get done which aren't so physical. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, but luckily, a lot of the stuff that we're working on, like the watering system and stuff, it's not really that physical. Um, I do wanna get to work on the kids' playhouse. That's gonna be coming up soon, and that will be physical. So I might have to push that off until next week, only because of, I'm a walking bump. <laughs> I was under attack. I don't know what happened. Um, I didn't even really do anything too crazy. Just watered the garden and um, moved a few plants. I think it might be like the gnats or, I honestly, I have no idea. I, I know it's not fleas, guys. I know it's not fleas because of the dogs because we have already flea dipped them several times. There's no fleas on the dogs anymore. Um, they are medicated, so the, the fleas that do jump on them are just gonna wanna jump right off. So I, I know it's not the dogs, and like I said, it happened literally right after I got out of the garden. So, yay, <laughs> yay. Hi, you are just so lovey this morning, Mora. Yes, you are, you're just a love. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So yesterday was a great day, guys. Uh, the boys put in so much hard work and I'm just so thankful that we were able to be a part of it. Um, I'm extremely happy for David. He's moving and shaking. He's getting closer and closer to that magical moment. Um, I know Anthony's gonna be coming over there today too to help out with some more of the stuff, just finalizing everything. Uh, so no, we didn't get to go flush yesterday, but he's darn close, man. He is so darn close. I think if they really put it in today, today might actually be the day. So that's really exciting for him. Um, I'm excited for another one of our friends. Have you guys seen Mama V, Possum Run Homestead? By golly, the girl's gone viral. 
I'm so excited for you, uh, Mama V. I'm so excited and happy for you. You've worked really hard. You definitely deserve it and you earned it. She's got a video right now that is just completely exploding. Um, it's called, um, she ain't, she's ugly, but she's mine. <laughs> Something like that. It's talking about her, um, her camper. So a couple weeks back, I had uh, Mama V on our Simple Life Reclaim channel. And also here on Real Talk, we were out at the lake enjoying a lake day. And I kind of showed off her, um, she was living in a bus. And so we ended up showing her bus. Her bus at the time was for sale. She ended up selling her bus. And um, now she, now that she has the proceeds from selling her bus, she's gonna be able to start really moving and shaking on her homestead and building up her cabin too. So again, Possum Run Homestead, if you guys haven't checked her out, she's part of the family and um, very proud of her. But long story short, uh, she put out a video recently because after she sold her bus, it was like, well, where is she gonna stay at? Well, she ended up um, getting a camper and she was posting basically like her new camper and where she's staying at now. And that video, I'm so happy for you. I'm so, so happy for you. Her channel's doubled in like the last couple of days and that channel is completely, ex or the video is completely exploding. So this is really um, exciting for her too. I'm very, I'm just, our friends are doing some good stuff, man. And oh, and Drew with Drew's Lens, he just got himself a brand new uh, tractor. I'm super excited for him with that too. He's gonna be able to be moving all kinds of stuff and bobblehead. I'm just, I'm just so happy for everybody, guys. I just, I'm really so happy for everybody. Um, it's a, it's been a really good last uh, bit, and I'm just. Everyone out here is doing so well and meeting so many milestones and it just, it does my heart proud and I'm just happy for everyone. Gary and I are gonna be keep on getting busy over here. Um, the next couple of things that we're gonna be working on, friends, as I was kind of mentioning, we're gonna try to get the watering system all taken care of for the chickens and the rabbits. We are gonna work on that play set for the kids as soon as I'm feeling a little bit better. We want to do um, an automatic feeding system for them as well, once we get the watering system set up. And um, there's a couple other things that we were discussing uh, just this morning, but since nothing's in finalized plan, um, I don't know which way it's gonna go or not, but Gary's been thinking about a couple of different uh, scenarios so that way we can collect the rabbit gold. You guys have brought up some great suggestions for us. I think so far one of the winning ideas um, is like a, a thick roofing piece of plastic, you use them for greenhouses and stuff, and you kind of just tilt it and then that way, and you drill holes through it so that way when the rabbits go to the restroom, the, the pee will go through and then you'll be left with uh, the gold, right? And then you can tilt it at like an angle so that way it, it automatically drops into buckets for you and then you can just, so there's no raking required. That's a really good idea too. And um, I know that for like our summer goals, guys, is to get our animals area situated. So that way we can focus more on um, building our cabin up without having to spend so much time going down and dealing with all of the chores that we've now given ourselves by having those two new areas. So there's a reason why we're doing everything the way that we're doing it, the whens, the whys, um, you know, and even the hows, right? So we definitely have a plan and it's in motion. I'm happy with it. Um, and yeah, life is good, guys. Life is good. The puppies are doing super well. Uh, the puppies are adjusting and playing with us and loving on us. They definitely know their names. I'm having some accidents with them in the house still sometimes. Um, I, it's just puppies. We're going to have to continue training them up. For all we know, they've never been inside before. They were just completely outside dogs. So, I mean... I definitely got to house train them, but that's kind of goes with the territory of having puppies. Well guys, I'm going to be keeping this one short today. I want to say thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I'm just not feeling the best. I'm going to be staying in jammies all day, very loose fitting clothing and just trying to kind of lay low. Um, but I will have a video put to put out on Simple Life Reclaimed for you all today. I'm going to do some editing so you guys will see that. I should be able to have it up um, on the main channel like later this afternoon if all goes according to plan. So stay tuned for that. So we will be back again for another episode of Real Talk with SLR tomorrow because Lord knows I can sit in a chair and talk. <laughs> so I'll be back with you guys tomorrow for another episode, hopefully with Gary. Um, and yeah, 
So I wanted to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Um, I love you guys. And until the next one, friends, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. We will catch you on the next one. Later, later.